So time for another situations video. Just like my previous situations video, I'm gonna give you a situation, give you a scenario, and I want you to write down what you think or what you do in this situation. And then in that time, I'm gonna make a response video as to what I think or what I would do in that situation. Now, I'm gonna challenge two of my loyal subscribers, my boy MC from over France and my girl Constance from over Germany, yeah? You two are my loyal subscribers, always commenting, always liking my videos, always showing me love, and I'm gonna show you some love back by shouting you out, yeah? So, I'm challenging you two to write down what you think I would do in that situation. Because I believe you lot know me. You lot been watching my videos for some time now. So you lot should know me. You should know like where my head's at, innit? Yeah. So make sure you write down in the comment box below what you think I would do if you don't even want to give your personal opinion, yeah? So make sure you enjoy the video. So the situation is this. I made a video talking about handouts. And during that video, I mentioned the situation that happens quite frequently. And it's quite sad that this happens as well. And it's basically when a parent will pass away and the children of the parent won't even wait until the body is cold in the ground before they start scavenging over the property that is left behind because they believe that they're entitled to a cut. Now in this situation, it's quite similar but it's also quite different. In this situation, an elderly woman passed away and in her time she only gave birth to one child. This child at the time was about 35, 40 years old, so she's a grown ass woman. She had her own property, no children, no responsibilities. She was just living the high life kind of thing. As I said, she had her own property and her mum left the property behind. But there was only one problem. Her mum's lifelong partner was living in the property. Now, he had no rights to this property. He just lived there. So I can imagine what's going through her head. She's probably sitting there thinking, I've got my property and there's a property over there that I'm entitled to. Now, I'm allowing someone to live in this property for free when I could take this property and go and sell it. Take a guess what she done next. Take a guess what she was thinking. Well, somehow she managed to kick the man out of the property. I don't know if he was homeless, if he went to a bed set, or if he went to an old people's home, but she kicked him out of the house, she took over the property, and she sold it because she's probably thinking why am i allowing this guy although you know he's been in my life since i was 10 years old or whatever why am i allowing this guy to live for free when i can have an extra 200 grand in my bank account so she sold the property bought a nice big property nice flashy car holidays here and there living the high life so that's the situation what would you do in that situation imagine you know god forbid your parent pass away or whatever and you was entitled to a property, and someone was living in that property that had no rights over the property, what would you do? Would you allow them to remain in the property and live in for free? Or would you kick them out and sell the property? Let me know what you would do in that situation in the comment box below. Wait for my response. If you like the video, subscribe. If you don't like the video, change your station.